very quick so I drop out. And all that I ask of you today, because you might not hear my voice anymore, because I'm here to sit and observe. Who wants to be 70 years old? Shall we worship the Lord? And I am in this from she was two years old. Don't look at any of the years of old girl. Shall we worship the Lord? When she wanted a few months for two years, I was called to this service. And when, it, when I was called, I'm just telling you something. I don't know why this spirit beat me to say this. When I was called, some of you might hear that story, some of you may not. I was a, a big fan of the devil. We go dance. When we go dance, I might feel me dancing. And if we are dancing with your man, allow me to finish the dance. Don't talk a bit. You are in trouble. When God called me, I was planning to kill a poor family that Sunday night. You know, Peter got a purpose for me to be here. I am not a self proclaimed pastor. Our self proclaims this bishop, whatever you want to call it. I am a called out. Like David, I was chosen. And sometimes it's rough. Sometimes you're going into some valley. But if you're a called out, then things won't be easy. The problem that I am having with revival is that I'm whatever you want to call it. It's how we live against one another. These days when we go on Facebook, we still see. This a bishop that goes out that the bishop. And who are original and who now follow and who now this. If you are a called out. Facebook. And we make it look as if we ain't going nowhere. And people have so much things to say about us. But can I tell you something? And you don't want to have between the one God. But when you can't implore us and ask us to the better. For all the now men come in at church one time, they end with the turban. They are pretty and familiar. So we now hide from nobody. Shall we worship the Lord? And I pray that those in the hearing of my voice, whether I'm in the pan life or I'm in the pan day, whatever. Channel me the fan, die channel, dead channel are in between. I am imploring us, those of us who are listening, as a, you realize you know the young men just go to church and must say one another. You ever see the painting of four of them all one another? They have the differences, you know. Yes. Somebody said, I'm going to be your son. Look at how we look. Let our hearts be like our uniform, can we get some? We don't know when they are in, they get in a uniform, you know, some dynamics. We are putting together, you know, we are shuffled, we are the one. <laughs> we pre seen and found on the African. Mm -hmm. We look good. And a revival make for us look good. Then let the heart look good to the man. Let the heart look good. Shall we worship the Lord? We know we are asked. Israelites and half African, you know, so the one we have the one time, because remember the days when the Israelites got one of them and then changed to one two weeks and as they forget what we have, they got back in the next four weeks. But come on now. The writer said there is a way that seemeth right to man, yeah. but the end thereof is death. And I said before, you might not hear my voice anymore. Just keep it into our hearts and our minds that you want to promise us that we are going to make a change as of. Well. Today. We have times when our neighbors and our workplaces and families offend us, you know. But we are in mind that we are a part of nation. We are a part of set of people. We are here to make a difference because we get all the highest calling that God could ever hand down to man. A gift that we got free. Without any price, without any charge. Yeah. Use it wisely. Yeah. Because the, the Spirit of God is intelligent. Yeah. And it teaches us intelligently. Yeah. So let us walk according to our calling. Let us, as of today, now what you're 
know, because sometimes you see some people, you see my church, so they don't want them, you see them, and then as some big turf on Sunday when we see them in a church. And Monday or Tuesday when we see them don't turn under, yeah? And a little piece of something, yeah? And we have some big time, remember, can we? Chief Apostle, His Majesty, His Grace, His Lord, and all of His names. Then lift to the name of it, whether we are clear, we can was given unto us. Let us lift towards our calling. And we don't talk. Church. They might not be the same name, but when they 
they call us the answer. And when we call them, they answer. I can tell you, I can put on the box anytime. And it was the last minute and the day of preparation for someone else. They're going to be here. We're talking about more the church than new life, very deliverance ministry. And it's like our artificial process. He's calling it. Mount Zion, to 
reigning in charge of the Nazarenes, which are the Nazarenes, headed by Overseer Lewis, North Era Minister Barrett, Deacon Garden, Deacon Green, Leeches Garden, Tell the worship the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You have from our region overseer. Amen. You have the offer Zion. You united Africa and spiritual church of the Nazarene. Keep on with that sister. Palmer, amen. Bishop Simi Drinkin. Pointed pastor to the days in the front of the Easter pastor. And the saints of the Palmer. Amen. Can I worship the Lord? Hallelujah. Amen. From this house. Ah, you are on the job. Our minister, go there. Ah, you have on the keys. They call her the keys. Ah, minister Robinson. Ah, hallelujah. You are Elder Williams. Evangelist Stuart. Our missionary department. Amen. You have a secretary department. Oh, you have poor me. Pastor Lewis. You have a the pack. The person not responsible because it's a dog's the stomach. You can't worship today. You have a check along the back. Ah, uh, Pastor Williams. And uh, uh, Brother Neil cooking up a storm. Amen. I want everybody to stand and worship the Lord. From the spiritual church of the Nazareth, Fort William. I want the church to sing and worship the Lord. Amen. If you hear anybody out there, I'll acknowledge. I want the church to
Spirit of God who is the head of my life, then to oversee on our Facebook live about my friends and officers, Bishop, little children in our midst. Today at this is greeting. Bless the Lord. It's a human convention 2023. Bless the Lord. Amen. Every woman happy to be alive. Let me hear your shout. Hallelujah. You're happy to be the host of God. Shout. Hallelujah. I'm here to say about my wife. Shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We see no men in possible. You know, like the other men are in the house as well. Amen. Look at you. You're going to know. Bless the Lord. Amen. Today I just want to talk to you a little about Esther. Amen. Esther was a woman of failure. Oh, the Lord. Let's say, amen. amen. Our team is talking about be of good courage. Yes. Oh, bless the Lord. Tell us, be a Yes. And he shall stay. 
not married. Praise the Lord.
Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I just want the females to stand, please. Females, females, females. Oh, my God. 
us right now. And the day's preacher is none other than Mr. Holly. Did I pronounce it correctly? Okay, thank you. Right. So Mr. Graham will bring on the day's preacher for us. No, I ain't spending two minutes we to go for Minister Graham. Yeah. But not for the minister who is going to bring the word. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So, although we want to hear what Minister is saying, all those who are throwing my mouth to God, no. I just see the walking up and down when Minister is talking. We're not going to have that today. We're going to sit down and we're going to listen. And if you leave at your techie, just fall out and say, Boy, that one they are finished. Praise God, but if other yours just leave it alone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I need some women to be delivered today. I need some circumstances to be looked at by God today. I need some chains to be broken today. Because there's something in the house for somebody. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Now if you don't hear my voice for the rest of the day, I am Pastor David. Praise the Lord. Praise God from our sister church in Farmer. Praise God. Praise the Lord. So I'm just going to ask you all to stand. Stand, stand, stand. Because I'm handing over the rest of the service. Stand, stand, stand. Sleep shall lick you. And if you don't understand the spiritual world, 
many of us say, Chum, you tell you they just go lead on. That when the enemy, they are called friends, they stop you by the way. But we cannot understand the spirit world. If you can get up now, I just start stomping on the enemy. The enemy of the flee. So God said, sometimes when we are low in the spirit, I cry, Lord, lift me up. Sometimes I go down to lay down in it, and I said, God, I join with the elders, the seraphims and the cherubims, and I bow in your presence. One day they come up to work at my house, and I said to her that I'm on my prayer time. I'm going to go into my, my closet to pray. And you know, to me in the closet, to me in the prayer, so me get up and sleep, me sleep, you know. And I say, well, I'm the man. Because the enemy knows that at this certain time, me always go pray. So when India the prayer room, they will come in 12 o'clock. That time they go for 10 o'clock already. But pray. Satan gone to confess. To stop us by the way. So our pastor said earlier, we must join together. And pray for each other. I said in church, sometimes when somebody comes in your thoughts, no wonder what it is. Just start praying for them. Because sometimes something is about to happen. Just start praying for them. Nobody greater, nobody 
I take it with great pleasure in handing the rest of the service. Open your hearts, give God your hearts, give the preacher your hand, and turn the rest of the service to Minister Kali in care of the blessed Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Shall we bless the Lord? Praise the Lord! Shall we praise the Lord? Praise the Lord! It's good to be here today. It's an honor for me to come back into the house of God. Amen. I feel at home. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I want to pause just to honor God for the opportunity. It wasn't a must that I have to be here. Yeah. But God has given me another opportunity to walk into his house. Yeah. And for that I'm going to give him all the honor and all the points. Amen. I just want to, in this accent, just greet over to the way with Underlife watching us. Amen. I want to greet our island over to your Smith. I also want to greet my father in ministry, the man who poured the oil three months ago right here. Bless yeah. my father. Minister Lewis, I agree to man. Pastor White, I don't want to take a new right, I agree to man. My pastor, my bishop, I don't want to take a new right, I Madam, I agree to too, man. And all the other ministers in the house, church officers, I agree to. I want to say to my evangelist brown over there, I agree to, sir. And I want to say to missionary Miller, who traveled with me from Betagra, I agree to, madam. I want to say to my church sister, sister Charlotte, I greet you, madam. Hallelujah. And the one backslider who came with me in water and I traveled up and down with her every time as a backslider. My little cousin, my big cousin over here, I greet you. Oh, yeah. I also want to greet Brother Rob. He's on the old Alright, I want to greet Brother Rob also. Three months ago, I sat here. And I was saying, we made the declaration. He said, the Holy Spirit said, I'm to anoint and to appoint you and ordain you as a minister. Amen. He said to the public, she's not of my church, but she went wrong. Because every church that the Lord may have called, I am a part of it. Amen. But he said, he was just to show that I wasn't a part of his congregation. Amen. But he was obedient to the Spirit. Yes. And I want to say thank you to him. Oh, yeah. I, I'm going to the message quickly. But this is why I want to say that. Oh, yeah. It's not everywhere you go, you find leaders who can identify potential in the people. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Bible says, No, who labor amongst you? Yes, yes. And so I met him the first time, and he said, Woman, you are giving trouble. Oh, and I met him in Jenkins, and I'm like, Oh. Sometimes the angel says some things and who are these three making us and you should shut up because I'm high time. Oh, yeah. I, I'm giving my testimony before I go to the message. I remember when I meet him the first day, Jenkins, something was happening and I had to give my church a walk. Oh, and I was getting ready to go to a church. Didn't even tell my church sister that I carried to church in the morning. Mm. And I was getting ready, I hear, go to church in line with your calling. Oh, yeah. He said, I'm going to go today. Yes. Can I tell you the church that I had planned to go deep and keep I ended up in Jenkins and over here Louis saw me in Jenkins the first time he said, woman, I know you, but you have brother me spirit. Oh, and he went on to say, the Holy Spirit said, if you groom you. Oh, yeah. I didn't know anything about it. So you are invited like to buy yourself now. God, you see, who me not love my church of people read up in the guys. And everybody will read. Oh, yeah. And read the right. Come on. And I, I, I am confessing now. I said it because the Bible said, try the spirit. Yes. All right. Yes. That's right. Because a lot of false prophets are gone out. Yes. Yes. I didn't say he wasn't a man of God. Yes. I was talking to God. I said, God, you know, yes. me don't love what you do. Everybody love reading. Yes. Because you can read from now till tomorrow. But watch when the message comes if the readers are working in the world. Yes. So I was here and I said, God, yes. you know my heart. And he came down to me and he said, but he said it 
and a smile and I said, all right, I get my confirmation. This is God working. Today I'm in his house to bring the word exactly three months after I was ordained. And I said, God, you are the only wise God. When I look at the message that I'm asked to preach, I take up the Bible so many times. Trying to understand it, and every time I start to read, I put it in. Because if the Holy Spirit is not giving you the interpretation, don't try to find it that self. So when I'm saying it's God, when you're the evening, you say you start studying your message yet. You say, over here, every time I take up the Bible, I put it back down. Because I'm not getting it. And anything the Lord is not pushing me to do, I'm not going to force it. Self is a complete thing. I realize so. 
That verse hit me hard. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Trying to understand the, the passage, it hits me hard. And this is why. The sea of people who was practicing idolatry earlier. Yes. God said, I have chosen you. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. The sea of people who were molding the molded image together to worship it. God said, I have chosen you. Yeah. So don't come expecting everything to be easy. Oh, yeah. If everything was going to be easy, there would be. 